tropical skies in the heart of Africa lies the jungle kingdom of Kimba, the white lion. One day, Kimba's old friend and advisor, Daniel Baboon, was cooling himself at Wishing Falls Pond when suddenly a huge python prepared to strike. I am. Watch my speed. But I caught up with you, Kimba. You're fast, Stretch. If the racetrack were any longer, I'm afraid you'd win by a neck. Kimba! Huh? Kimba! Over here, Chimpy. What is it? Kimba, come on! Why? Our old friend Samson's come back! What? We're sending a message to all the animals of the jungle to come for a big party! Seems to be here. Why, sure. Samson always has a big celebration. He must be an important animal to rate such a celebration, Daniel. That's a matter of opinion. He's a water buffalo that lives in the swamp, and every so often he drops by. Well, you must be Kimba. My name is Samson. I'm an old friend of your father, Caesar, the great white lion. And having witnessed the fight you had with that python, I'd say you're a real credit to your father. Thank you, Samson. But what I did wasn't really that much. No need to be modest with me, my boy. But your father was the same way. He would sneer at the most difficult job. I just hope you become as great a king as he was. I'll try my best, sir. 
I'm sure you will, and to prove my point, I brought you a special present. What special present? There! Three tame mules. Huh? Oh! You invited them to our party. Yeah, because they should be great to feast upon. What? I made off with them from the village because mules are more tasty having lived with people so long. What do you mean? I mean all farm animals have been babied. And because they've been babied, these animals make a perfect gift for you to prepare for our feast. You mean do away with these mules? Of course. Strong animals always get rid of the weak ones. <laughs> Why are you hesitating? Just go ahead and get rid of these traitors. Show me what a great leader you are, Kimba. Even though I admired your father, he had one great fault. He had a silly notion about being kind to all animals, even the weak man tamed traitors. But now you can bring back the law of the jungle. Well, Kimba, better make up your mind. I've made up my mind. I think these three mules should be set free. Free? What about our feast? Free? You must be joking. I'm not joking. They're animals just as we are. They didn't work for human beings because they wanted to. Human beings forced these mules to work. And if we steal the animals from the humans, they may come after us. Think so? Come after us with their guns. Mm. That's why what you did, Samson, was doubly wrong. What do you mean, I did wrong? Why, even your father used to steal animals from the village. But he did it to set them free in the jungle, not to prepare them for a feast as you wanted to. Oh, yeah? Then we gotta do something. Help Kimba. What can I do? Samson won't pay any attention to me. But Kimba's not big enough to fight Samson. Kimba's too smart to do battle with Samson. Just watch. Look! Holy crackers trying! Calm down, the both of you. You're getting too excited. What? <coughs> Why, you overgrown swamp cow, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Where's the what? <coughs> Don't make me laugh. Kimba, since you're such a big sissy, I'll show you how a brave animal operates. Watch out! Uh, did I hear you warn them, Kimba? Yes, I warned them. All right, you traitor. Oh, no! You're brave, Kimba, not to run when I charge. Well, then, I'll give you another chance. Ask the others whether I'm right or you are. All right, I will. How many of you think I'm right about the three mules? Speak up, big boy! I would, but I'm not sure. You know very well Kimba's right. Speak up, then! Don't make Samson mad at me, you talk. Don't be afraid. If you agree, speak right up. Friends? Bucky? Polly? No one agrees. Now, how many agree with me? I agree! I agree! I agree! I agree! All right, Kimba. Get smart. Your fancy ideas just won't work. Kimba! Kimba, where are you going? Kimba, come back! Kimba. Mr. Commissioner, why have you sent for me? I have sent for you, hotshot Hapa, because we need a good hunter. I'm too modest to brag, of course, but you've come to the right person. Our animals are being stolen by wild beasts. It's a very big problem. Hotshot Hopper will get any animal, just like I got Caesar the Great White Lion. Caesar, the great white lion. Father, I wish I could be as great as you were. Was I wrong to disagree with Samson? He's older than I am, but still. 
He just sits there and stares. Do you think he's thinking of leaving us? It's possible, quite possible. What? Daniel, we just can't let that happen. We've got to do something to help Kimba. Hmm. Leave it to me. What are you going to do, Daniel? Just be quiet. Follow me. Where to? Shh. All right, Polly, go take a look. Right. Careful. Watch out for that window. <laughs> What'd you find out? Is Caesar's hide inside? Yes, plus two men and a gun. Thanks, Polly. Boost him up again, Bucky. The gun's right inside there. Good. Put shot show the greatest. Of course, I hate to say this about myself, but to be a great hunter, you've got to be fearless. Come on, after them this way. Right, let's go. Now hurry and get Caesar's hide. Hurry. Those wild animals are at it again. Oh no, they stole my white lion's hide. How could they? It's gone. I won't get away with this. Kimba? I'm your father's spirit. Wait, Caesar's ghost? I've never believed in ghosts. But you seem real. How could you doubt it? Of course I'm real. And I've come back because I think you need help. You knew? You were right, my boy. Killing is always wrong. How am I doing? Fine, Pauline. Now tell him to have courage, no matter what. You must have courage, Kimba. No matter what happens. But the animals all agree with Samson. Maybe I'm wrong, but I want all of us, including the tamed animals, to live in peace. Quick, tell me. What do I say? Tell him he's right. No matter what, always stand up for what's right. Always right. Strong and firm. Strong and firm. And courageous. And courageous. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind. Yes, but none of the animals agree with me, Father. Most of them feel that Samson is right. I don't have any friends. Kimba! What? You're a prince, the great Caesar's only son. Do not whine and whimper like a child. Be a prince. The white lion is born to lead. Show them what's right. But how can I, Father, when all the animals obey Samson and not me? Great Caesar's ghost! Huh? Nobody said that being prince is supposed to be an easy job. Listen, Kimba, never allow yourself to be bullied by animals like Samson. Remember, always stand for what is right. Yes, sir, I'll remember. That's right. Listen to Polly Cracker. What did I mean? Your father. He will never say you wrong. I don't understand. What are you saying? I mean, you have a friend in, in Polly Cracker. <laughs> You. Well, well, fancy meeting you here. Bye! What's going on here? <laughs> Polly, Daniel, and you, Bucky, I'm ashamed of you.
you. You claim to be my friends, yet you play such a dumb trick on me. Kimba, we are your friends. We simply wanted to help. Then you three really agree with me instead of Samson. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, you've made me very happy. You really are my friends. You didn't have to pretend to be my father's ghost, but it was kind of funny. We're friends again. The right. And together, we'll prove we're right. Any good to run their cars can run a lot faster than we can. I've got to find some way to protect the animals. As you've heard, hunters are coming with guns. The best thing we can do is make ourselves scarce. Hide behind trees and rocks. If you can't find a place to hide, dig a hole in the ground. Don't bunch up. Now go! No, I can not leave this behind. Now that you've all found a place to hide, remember this. Whatever happens, don't move. Don't listen to Kimba. He's just a big sissy. Samson, stop that rabble rousing. You old baboon, I'll do as I please. Wait. Samson, don't be foolish. Being such a big animal, you'll make a big target. Follow me. I won't. But No, I... sir. With the sharp horns I've got, I don't have to run away like a coward. I use them to fight. Stop him before it's too late, animal. It's impossible. Samson won't listen to reason. Maybe not, but there must be some way that's possible. Let him go. Maybe we'll get rid of one big troublemaker. Daniel Baboon, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> I didn't mean it. You leave Samson to me. I'll get him back. But how will you? By brute force. Hey, there's a water buffalo ahead. What'll I do? He gets violent when he's mad. When he comes charging at us, just move the jeep out of his way. He's charging. Drive off. Move the car. <laughs> on. I think he's cracking up, Bucky. That's no way to talk. If you're so smart, you tell me what he's doing. Figure it out for yourself, Polly. Hmm. There's a big spring under this baobab tree. It's very big. And felling the tree is supposed to release tons and tons of water, huh? We don't have time to talk about it. Who's going to help me? We'll help. Thanks, mules. We need all the help we can get. Don't be disheartened, men. We'll get those animals yet. How are your wounds? Not as bad as they'll be if I don't get those mules back. Forward, then.
been held back a long time. Look at that, Bucky! The water's rushing down the valley! and wash them away. Great! He's <laughs> <laughs> so smart, that little white lion. <gasps> of course, Polly. I knew it all the time. Now that the water has stopped the hunters, let's destroy their weapons! <laughs> like to bid you goodbye, because we've made up our minds to go back to the village. We appreciate your help, but I guess we've been living among human beings much too long, sleeping in barns and having our meals provided. Besides, if we go back, maybe the villagers won't attack you anymore. So goodbye and thanks, Kimba. You make a wonderful prince. Looks like we've discouraged all those hunters. What do you mean, we? It was all Kimba's doings, and you know it. Who has any complaints? Who said he was a betrayer? I did. Huh? I was the one that said that Kimba was a betrayer, but I was wrong and I want to apologize. <sighs> that shows how nice you really are. Just so nobody thinks I'm a softie. Samson, with a roar like that, how could anyone doubt it? But now it's time for us to get on with our celebration. All in favor, say aye. aye. Just won't turn and run. 